Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Goosebumps Horror Town. In this last part, part 5, where we'll be looking at the Welcome to Camp Nightmare events. In this part, we last, or I should say last part, we finished off the quest lines when it came to what was available. And now it's just going to be simply just grinding some items, getting everything there, and then seeing what ends up popping up once this is said and done. But for now, let's just jump right in and see what we end up leaving off, right? Okay, so, and this one is a continuation for the new quest, quest, quote-unquote, that they've been adding here, which is just adding items to this game. This one looks like it's focusing on the uh, new items, the witch cabinet that was introduced during the beginning of the year for the, uh, the Abominable Snowman. I believe it was what it's called. I'm not too sure. Once you do that, though... Next one pops up. This one's weird. It's called the Grandma and the Feather, but it's talking about the items from uh, the uh, Can You Scare Me bit. Then we get this, which is weird. The Camping Quest gives you this weird camping waterfall. I It's weird because I have not seen this item before, and from what I understand, this is a unique item. So it's only available during this quest line, and it's a decoration. Despite this, though, it is not a part of the 100% completionist, but it is exclusive item for this event. Much like how, like, you don't get this after this, like, after this is done, you don't get this anymore. So, that's pretty weird. It costs about 200 for this. Um, I think during this time, I debated whether or not I should go after this item, but then I said, you know what, I have a lot of cash. I might as well... Just drop it down, but it won't be in this section here, per se. It's just me debating on what to do with a big waterfall. It sucks that it's not animated either, because I'm sure if it was animated, it would have actually looked a little bit nicer. But you get what you get. It's not that bad of a waterfall. I believe this was one of the items that you could probably get from the other game. I believe it was... um. Snoopy's Town Tales. I believe that was also one of the grand prizes from that game. One of the seasons for their camping event. Nothing too exciting for this part, unfortunately. So this one's the get the Agamation figure. Which I have enough, so let's just do that and then be done with that mission. But you get to see exactly what ends up happening with getting more and more of these. Anyways, this is where we are at right now when it comes to the Nightmare Tent. We're all done with the dry fruits, and now it's off to getting the other stuff. And we have 12 days left, so about two weeks. Alright, so two days pass. This is where we're at right now for the Nightmare Tent. Again, a lot of the dry fruit pies is done. It's just getting the scare stuff. Anyways, we're done with this. So now let's do this again. The another curse figure, and then also get a cursed doll. Which I believe is for the recently updated um Well not recently updated, but it was like back in May for the um now oh, I got my shrunken head bit. Yeah, so in this part, I was just like, you know what? There's too many items for this, so I might as well just go ahead and buy it. And it's weird, because once you do buy it, it just disappears. So you can't buy multiple, you only get the one. It's almost like trying to buy that cake during the updates uh, that I showed off last video, which was, I believe, the uh, Deep Trouble. Yeah, so I'm going to put this down here. Yeah, might as well. So now that thing's gone. And it's just an item. So it's just a decoration. So it's just taking up space, basically. But I'll find something for where to put this item. But that's what it looks like. I was going to say, this is weird that they decided to give you this unique item. Despite the fact that we have three premium um, suppliers. And usually they've been good with letting us have the suppliers there 
few more days pass. We're about done with the traps. And, um, I believe, yeah, so we only need one more of the traps and then we're done with that. So we don't need to spawn any more from Saber. Which then, after a few minutes, that's done. Look over here. Now we just need to craft the, um, so the beta beast traps are done. So now we just need to get the animal trap, or the safe animal trap, and the pinecone bird feeders. Six each. So these ones should be easy, though. Yeah, so they don't really go aside with one another, so that's good. So that's all you have to do first. And then, of course, you can also sell some of these out afterwards. And that's what I ended up having to do in order to get the item, uh, the statue in question. My usual, and I'm going to talk about this later on, but the best bet in order to get those items popping in from the uh, pawn shop is to keep on refreshing them, and as soon as you get one of the items shown, leave it there, and then you just do it again and then spawn it there. It's weird, but anyways, yeah. So this whole camping event thing, it's was interesting how they kind of handled it. It was three weeks, which I think it's enough time. It certainly kept me busy, especially since we're almost at another week. We only like one more week, according to this part of the video. Then we get a new pack, which is the Walter pack. As you can see, we got some items here. We got Peanut Van, we got the this unique tribal statue and we got some cash and that but if you ever oh and it's seven days left so basically a week this is when it popped up but if you wanted to look at um, a game if you didn't buy Walter you didn't have him beforehand in his bundle this is what it looks like so if you missed out on the saber stuff I would say that this is actually not a bad deal Especially since Walter's ridiculously priced. I still don't understand why they cost him $700. Like, why? That's just silly. But yeah, this is what it is. And it's not that bad. I mean, all things compared. So, this is what it looks like. So, the only two things are the two new characters exclusive. So, not a bad price, I guess. As you see, it's got the safety animal traps. And now I'm at the moment of trying to get the, uh... Bird feeder pie cards, which are slowly coming along. It won't be. It will be soon now when we actually get these uh, items in question to get the final grand prize, which actually looks pretty cool. I must admit. So let's do that there, and that should be our last one, and then we'll be done with that. Oh, and then we also got this finally done. So we got another item to do the hook and the grapple hook. It looks like moving forward, anything they add new, they're going to have us do get these items, I guess, to keep us busy. So this should be the last. Yeah, so this is the last item. So this took me almost one, two weeks and I ended up getting everything here. Got all six pine cone bird feeders, and this gets me to what I need to do. So let's redeem this great grand prize. It actually looks pretty cool. Um, like I like how they've designed this because it looks exactly like the book from um, Tim Davis drew for the Welcome to Camp Nightmare. I'm gonna try to find a good spot for this thing to find somewhere to place it though because it's so crowded right now because I need space because I can't get the bloody compasses <laughs> that's the only thing it's like I, I seem like I talk to people and they're always like that one item out of the three that you need from the treasury that you can't get which sucks and uh see this here ah I love when the game freezes like that. Um, let me move this aside here. And maybe this will be enough room. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I think... Uh, you know what? I'll just stay here for now. See if I can't... Okay, here we go. Much better. 
this is just temporary. I'm hoping to move everything to make it look a little bit more cleaner. But for now, let's just add this here. And just like that, we're done. This is what this item looks like. It looks pretty cool. I love the glow colors that they use for the tent here. It, for 12 hours, drops three. And so, you know, go over here. And as you can see, items are gone. And you can't get it anymore, so... Congrats, grand prize has been attained. Alright, pretty cool. Now, comes the next big puzzle that we need to do. is 100% this. But namely, go after the scout statue, because that's requiring 50 acorns. 50k acorns, and we're at 21 now. Alright, obtain some food. The brunch. And... The other one was a volcano, wasn't it? Was it a volcano soup? I'm not too sure. What? Hmm. Yeah, it was the volcano. By the way, it will be interesting for me to actually be able to make the video talking about the quest line for that because it was interesting to see how they played that out. But yeah, I mean, this video is pretty short to say the least because there's not really much else besides just showing you the updates and whatnot. And if it wasn't for these new quest lines here, it probably would have just been one video, like one long video for part four and that be the end of it. But as you can see, they keep on, it never ends with these. <laughs> it just keeps on going. And I don't know why the titles just doesn't seem like it doesn't make sense for some of these and others it makes sense because it's like it never ends it just makes sense but this is just like oh 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 no so if you want a good idea of how to get some of these items usually the harder ones to get so like the beta trap or beta beast trap in this case it would be alert worth a lot more in a seder shop so the more you got of that the more likely you can get that stuff Oh yeah, and you get to see a little bit of this, uh, the creep from the deep. So he shows you how long it's been since I've actually got that going. So, whoops! <laughs> so when I put everything together, that's why. So it took me that long in order to get that. And here comes the last week's goal, which is the dried fruit stand, which sucks because that was the item I got since the first beginning, which means... You cannot get this peanut van. So it's like a hundred dollars. So really, in order to get that is like less compared to getting one of the items. Like, So this is the sucky part about this is that although you get this unique decoration in the form of the waterfall, in order to get that, like this item, the van, you have to pay money. About 200, so another 200 down the drain. Put that down. It gives you peanut butter. Now, really, I don't need the peanut butter here because I already got everything I need. But the reason I'm buying it is because a, it adds to the percentage of completion. But also, it's because Mrs. Mar has a quest for this that also drops peanut butter. And her animations is interesting to say the least. I'm not sure why exactly but here you go it's one of those animations that I could have sworn I should have done before like that one Walter one that it was going to haunt me for the rest of my days now but yeah it's just basically her getting mad freaking out but I guess it's in this case it's like oh my god she's going crazy over peanut butter oh yeah she loves them peanuts I'm wondering if there could be like a like a Charlie Brown reference there. Good grief. Alright, another quest done. Get some bread and get some mask mutant stuff, so okay. Fair enough. Not much to say there, it's just what it is. Oh boy. But you can tell. It's getting closer to being done. And as you can see, I'm slowly getting to my goal. I'm about 48 here. 
when it comes to the acorns. So hopefully the next part coming up. Yeah, so now I'm at the goal. I now, no not that, I now have enough to get the big grind item. In this case it's the scout statue. Also, yeah, anytime you get the grand prize item, anytime you click on the home menu, it'll go you directly to where the item is instead. It's very weird. But there you go, this is what it looks like. What money well spent for that statue that looks pretty... Uh, <laughs> Sometimes, like, one of the things I would like to say, if you're going for items that are, like, that, like, grindy... Maybe make them look kind of cool. I'm just saying, because then it will make it more enjoyable to kind of grind to get that item to make you want to play this game. Because, really, I mean, to keep you busy around this time, that's pretty good to say the least. Oh yeah, and also, we got some saber scare action going on here, but for some reason he's also scared. Despite him being spawned, it's one of those weird uh, glitch things. But, let's just go ahead and, uh, watch him getting scared. He's walking along, minding his own business, and then, oh no! Spooky aliens. Now he's running away, terrified, like a little baby. Which is weird, coming from a guy like that, but I guess because he's wearing the human, the human mask. The, um, the Jabberwocky mask, as some people like to call it. He just kind of does this. And there he goes. All done. So a better close up look at that. So let's just go here and here. And that item is now done. So now I have to only focus on this stuff. So that's great. Right, so I should have enough items, or some acorns now to get everything here. So the first big items I need to get is this camping totem. It doesn't look that bad, it's about a one square. Next one is going to be, I believe it's the flat, yeah, it's going to be the, well, it could be a tent. So here's a blue old tent. There you go. Next one we're going to go grab is, I think it's the flag. Yeah, I think I'm going to go after the flag here. Yeah, so I get the flag. Where's the uh, color that makes it look like a moon? What do you think that was the purpose? In an old tent. A red old tent with a tree. There you go. So that takes up to 90%. Or 91%. Let's get the old... Other old <laughs> tent. With another piece of wood there. And then now we need to do two more tents here, which is the fancy looking one. <coughs> and then the last one, which is the long camping tent. And here's the weird thing about it. I never really liked the, and then that takes us to 100%. There you go. That's all the items I needed to finish this off to 100%. I really don't know why, but I've never really liked the idea of just camping outdoors with tents and all that. If I ever do go out, it would be with an RV. There's just no way. I mean, I really just like camping. I don't like going to cabins that are not furbish. It's just... It, I just not... I don't like that. I'm so used to just living at a home that's nice and comfortable. I don't want to go to something that makes it so crap. Anyways, I got enough here to do this. So finally, I'll be able to finish off this little area of uh, townhouses. So it'll be less crowded. I feel to get all these norm normies all in one location just like a true scary stories now we need a blob sandwich and some cyborg hackers that's great I'm gonna stop that for now yeah so that's gonna be our next thing so that area is now done no I didn't want you to click on you there we go. And now I'm going to take my time to move some of these housings over here. 
to make them nice ones. And at this time, as well, the event is done. So this is what it would have looked like when it popped up. And as you can see, everything here is pretty much finished. You can still craft items, but you can't spawn any more items. They now give you coins in exchange because the event currency is no longer there. Which, you know, I've come to expect. Also, what's interesting around this time is that I ended up getting a million dollars. Yeah, I don't know why that's the case, but there you go. A million dollars. Done. Said in there. Holy! <laughs> that was such an accomplishment, too. Like, I finally passed that milestone. But it's going to be like that for a while. Like, it's. It, I remember when I first started, and then... Hold on. Saber there, as you can see, still small. Has no, no more quests for us right now because they all had previously items here. And this is where I've kind of located this thing. Also, we still have a camping items here. I'm not sure why. But, yeah. Um, yeah, but that, that was interesting. Uh, great. I've, I've lost my train of thought because of Saber. Thanks a lot. <laughs> But I was going to say is that, uh, good, I'm losing my train of thought already. Um, I, yeah, now I remember. I remember that it used to be so hard to get all these coins, and now I'm at a point where now I'm just grinding these coins out, and I'm soon going to have it max. And although I can't spawn any of these characters per se, I can still spawn Saber. So let's spawn him for a little bit for the last old time shakes. Because I feel like this is going to be the only time we're ever going to see this face. This beautiful, beautiful, cre this beautiful boy face. I'm going to click on that. A little acorn here. And that will be the end of it. This whole event was interesting. How everything kind of played out. It wasn't too bad. Like, it wasn't the greatest. But it wasn't the best. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's bizarre to say the least. I will go more in detail with the um, review, with how I feel about this whole event and how it goes on about. But for the most part, they did a pretty decent job with setting everything up to be how to present this story. Because we knew that it was going to be some sort of camping event, and I feel like the way they kind of handled this wasn't that terrible. And I think the only... And again, I'm going to be talking mostly about this in my review, so I should advise you to kind of go through it. But for me, at the end of the day, I feel like it wasn't that terrible. So anyways, let's click on this. And well, we didn't get the special spooky item, but whatever. Yeah, oh well. That'll be it for us, eh, Saber? Oh, uh, Seder. Ah, anyways. Yeah, so that's about it for this event. Overall, like I was trying to talk about I actually do kind of enjoy this event it wasn't too bad it was pretty decent with its sizing the content they gave us was a little bit more in grinding I ended up being able to get everything in a decent time and be able to kind of fairly get it so there's that and I feel like everything else just seems pretty all right for the most part so as of what comes up next, well, there is a review coming up for this event here. And um, as far as the next event goes, as of this time, there it already has happened. But I'm not going to say what it is because there's a lot to talk about when that one comes up. But what I will say is that I am intrigued to see where the series goes from here. I have some old stuff to finish up. There's some uh, old videos, like most of these videos have already been recorded now, so it's mostly just trying to get some time to add the voices and actually add the videos together and be able to upload them. And I'm trying to figure out where to go from here because um, I'm thinking I might be going back to one of the older videos, uh, trying to get that out there. Uh, it will be like a one part video and it may not be that long. The, and then I might also try to do the other content as what came up next because it was a bizarre little small update that happened after this one. 
So we'll see where that leads us here. But anyways, that's about it for this review. Uh, not this review, this video. Uh, if you're interested, you can take a look at my review coming up in this. If you're watching this playlist, it will be the next one coming up. Um, but if not, yeah, that's about it for this event. Uh, let me know down below if you ever did actually take part in this event. Uh, how did you feel about this? Uh, do you feel the same way as I do where it's like it was alright? You hated it? Did you love it? I'd like to know. But uh, as of right now, that'll be it for me for this comment video thing. Uh, so anyways, thanks for listening. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, have a good one.